Hello and welcome to another adventure in what sold this week on eBay. This is a recap of the second week of June 2021. And the very first thing we sold this week was this game called The Bloody Inn. And I paid a buck fifty for this at the thrift store. I listed it June 2nd. It sold June 8th for $19.99 plus shipping. And there's this lot of left behind books. These I purchased at the Goodwill. Cost me $15 for the lot. And I listed them May 16th. They sold June, June 9th for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next. Uh, this is a 10 CD box lot, bo box set. I paid nothing for it. I'm not sure where these came from. Uh, I listed them June 8th. They sold the next day, June 9th, for $7 uh, plus shipping. $7 plus shipping, and that was a best offer that I accepted on those. Next. This is an old Marion Missile. Missile? For Daily Mass. Let's see. This one, uh, $2.49 at the Goodwill. I uh, listed it uh, May 24th. It sold June 10th for 30 bucks. 30 bucks plus shipping. Sweet. And another book, The Road to Dune. Uh, this is by Brian Herbert. Not so much by Frank Herbert, but based on the, on the books by Frank Herbert. So, 10 cents I paid for this. I listed it May 12th. It sold June 10th for five bucks. Five bucks plus shipping. Howdy, partner. It's Diamond Lils in Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a little, it's a boot. It's a cowboy boot. A glass cowboy boot. I don't, I don't know if it was a mug or what it was out there. It was kind of small for a mug. Unless they drink small mugs out there. But 50 cents I paid for this. Listed it April 30th, 2019, so I had it for a couple years. It sold June 10th for $16.99 plus shipping. $16.99 plus shipping on that one. Okay, and next we have a pair of these. Two of them? Yes, two, two shot glass. Yes, two of them. So there was two of these shot glasses, look like little cactuses, and uh, I paid a dollar for these. Listed them July 1st. They sold, yeah, Ju July 1st last year. They sold June 10th for $18.99 plus shipping. And I had two lots of these. The other one also sold at some point. I'm not sure when, but uh, maybe we'll see soon enough. Next. And these are three Anchor Hawking Wexford uh, mugs. These are big ones. I thought they would be better than this. I believe I got these. Yes, I got these in the $250 sale. Uh, the, the buy that I made. So these cost me $3.16. And uh, I listed them April 28th. They sold June 10th for $19.50. That was the best offer accepted. And that was plus shipping. And I believe this may have been the very last weed eater. I'm not sure. No, I still have one left. I still have one left, yeah. So a dollar. I think I do. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I paid a dollar for it. Originally listed these September 10th, 2017. This one sold June 10th for 10 bucks plus shipping. Next. And some leather punches. Just one. Sold for, I don't know why that's there, but sold for. $5.99. All right, just the one. And I've had these listed for a couple years. Paid a quarter for it. And uh, I don't know which one they bought. They just bought one of them letters there. So, next. That's plus shipping. A Jumanji VHS tape. It is sealed. And let's see. Uh, 49 cents I paid for this. Listed it May 24th. It sold. June 11th for $7.49 plus shipping. Next. A couple of little New Testaments with uh, Psalms and Proverbs. And let's see, these, I paid 14 cents for these. Listed them June 7th. They sold June 11th for $15 plus shipping. 
the reason I paid 14 cents is because I bought them in a bag lot at a thrift store. So it broke down to 14 cents. And some shaper, whatever that is. A shaper, I don't know. Some kind of pantyhose. Um, a dollar, I paid for these. Listed August 11th, 2019. Sold June 12th for six fifty. I had a bunch of this kind of stuff. Don't have too much of it left. I don't think I have any of these left. But anyway, yeah, so. Uh, it was a Walmart clearance thing one day. I just stumbled on and I said, hey, a buck a piece. They must be all right. Yeah, uh, I did all right with them. I did okay. All right, and this is, there's four Franciscan Desert Rose salad plates. I don't know why there's no pictures. Um, I think the person bought them with no pictures, to be honest. Uh, I seem to have run into another glitch somewhere where I lost my pictures on eBay. My pictures went away in a few of the listings. This isn't one of those really old ones from years ago. This was this is a new one that's happened in like the last six months. It's multiple listings don't have pictures. Uh, and I don't go back through and try to find them, so... I should, but I don't. So, anyway, two bucks I paid for these. I listed January twelfth. They sold June twelfth or Jan. Yeah, yeah. They sold June twelfth for twenty dollars plus shipping. So next, uh, singer, but a uh, singer, uh, but, I don't know, a foot for a sewing machine. There, there it is. It's a foot for sewing machine. I paid eight cents for it. Listed it March twenty fourth last year. It sold June twelfth for two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. I think I sent an offer on that one. I think it did. All right, there's some Nancy Drew books. These things were just sitting up here on the shelf, just stacking up and stacking up. And I was trying to get, you know, to put together a lot of the same kind of the same like issues, like editions of these. And I just wasn't finding any more of them. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm just gonna list them, make them go away. So I put in here that I paid nothing for them because they've had I've had them for a while, so I don't know what I paid. And uh, probably I bought them in a lot with other books, so the other books have paid for them by now anyway. So basically, these ones are free. Uh, I listed them June twelfth. They sold June twelfth for fifteen fifteen bucks plus shipping. So I'm glad I listed those. I got them out of here. Gave me some more room to work through some other things, and that's always helpful. All right, this I had to do an offer on. I, just, I know I sent an offer on this. I, you know, this stuff was selling really good when I listed it, and I don't, I don't know why mine didn't sell, but they never did. Uh, maybe they were ugly. I don't know. But anyway, I sent an offer. I, I got these in a bag lot, I think. Well, this one, no, this one says I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. So this isn't the one I was thinking of. That would be a goodwill price, prob probably. Unless. Um, I got them somewhere else and in a lot, which I know I did a long time ago, buy a bunch of stuff at the niche like this in a $5 bag lot. Maybe it broke down to a buck ninety-nine. But anyway, I listed this uh, July 11th, 2019, so a couple years, and uh, it sold, but I only got 10 bucks plus shipping. I, took, I, I, I sent a really low offer. I was really trying to drum sales up, and uh, it wasn't selling anyway, so... Uh, next. All right. Uh, Christmas, old mercury glass Christmas bulbs. Let's see what I get for these. Da, 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 five of them. I paid nothing. I listed them. A friend, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of Christmassy decorations a while back. And uh, I probably got around again. I think I have all the Christmassy stuff listed that they gave me. And I had a bunch of silver uh it's not real silver stuff it's uh it's, it's a word, silver plate and i left that in the box and i put it somewhere i don't know where but anyway yeah so paid nothing for them listed february 12th sold june 13th for 30 dollars 30 so what i took i took 30 i thought i got 50 nope I took 30 so hey i'm i'm good with that i wanted more but hey uh, you always want more. 50 cents. I paid for these three iris and herringbone sherbet cups from Jeanette Glass. And uh, 
I listed them January 23rd. They sold June 13th for 20 bucks plus shipping. And that was also a best offer sent. Uh, the are Elements of Harmony, two book set, My Little Pony, uh, My Little Pony books. And let's see, I listed these. Well, I paid 13 cents for them. They came in a bag lot at the thrift store. So I paid 13 cents. I listed them June June 5th. They sold June 13th for $20 plus shipping. $19.99 plus shipping. Hey, pretty cool. I'm selling books. I'm selling books. I can't believe it. I'm selling books. There they are. A couple more books. These ones came in, in a bag lot as well. Uh, probably that same one, maybe. Uh, now, it says I paid a dollar for these. How did I do that? Probably... I got them in a bag lot, and I, it was a $1 bag lot, I'm thinking, and I just, is that how it worked? No, man, I think I, I did get them in a bag lot, but I got them in the niche, and that was a $5 bag, and probably I only got five lots out of that bag. That's how that worked. Okay, so uh, May 30th, I listed these. They sold June 13th for 3 bucks. 3 bucks plus shipping. Um... Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, game of life, more more game of life, bits and pieces, parted out when in doubt. Zero, I didn't pay anything for these. Listed uh, May thirty first, sold June thirteenth for seven ninety nine. Free shipping, free shipping on those. Uh, they didn't cost much to ship though. So, all right, next, More game parts. These are wooden. Old wooden uh, pawns, tokens, movers, whatever you want to call them, from uh, an old 1950 Clue game. And it was really old, but um, it suffered from being destroyed. <laughs> the box was. It was not, not in that great of shape. And honestly, it just... Uh, even if it had been in that great of shape, it didn't really sell for that much. Because, again, because the shipping is so high because the boxes are oversized. So, anyway, I paid uh, 99 cents for the game. And, let's see. I know I must have just, maybe I only got one part out of this or something, or I, whatever. But, I know that's what I paid for. The game was 99 cents. At the time, my Goodwill sold the games for 99 cents. They've since changed their prices again. So, uh, I guess everything goes up. Um, I'm not buying anywhere near as much stuff from Goodwill as I was buying, though. So, And I, I don't really need to anyway. So, But there's there's other options to keep me busy. I have the niche, my neighbor's closet. They're, they're both way, way cheaper than Goodwill. And um, I, I enjoy going to those places more anyway. So, uh, Goodwill has such a high turnover of employees. It's hard to get to know any of the employees because they turn... They turn over so quickly, you know, and it's 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 nice to go into a place where where people where, where you go in and you know the girl behind the register says, "Hey, Mr. Weaver," you know, because they know you, you know. Some of them go or they go, "Hey, Dave," you know, uh, depending on 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 their who they are. But uh, that was really nice to have with some of them, and they recognize you and they smile, and you just don't have that anymore. Um, mostly, there's a couple at my other Goodwill that that has several people in there that that have been there for a while and they know me but uh and they always they always make a point of saying hi so i like the, i like that it's nice it's a nice thing to, to it's just nice and when you have such a turnover like that it's not as nice to go in anyway and then the prices are getting too high and sometimes they sell stuff that's broken or damaged and they act like it's retail and oh i'm going getting on a rant sorry uh yeah Enough goodwill. I, uh, May thirty first is when I listed these. They sold June thirteenth for eight bucks. No wait, no, that's the wrong one. The wrong one. Sorry. No, I listed these. I listed these November twenty third last year, and they sold June thirteenth for five ninety nine plus shipping. Five ninety nine plus shipping. So that's better. The Gilmore Girls. Who would have thought? My wife watched this whole series like in a really short period of time. 
Um, she, all all the seasons, uh, she blew through them. And anyway, uh, yeah. So I paid thirteen cents for these books in a book a book lot a, a bag a bag lot of books that I bought. Thirteen cents I paid for these. I listed them June sixth. They sold June fourteenth at auction for forty two dollars plus shipping for three paperback books. And now I will forever be looking for the Gilmore Girls books. So I don't know why they're so popular. I don't. I, I can't. Except maybe Sam from Supernatural was on there for a while, but I don't know. But Or it could be the girls. I don't know. Gold's Gym, uh, rotating push-up finger, workout fingers, whatever they are. Uh, nothing. I paid nothing for these. Listed them March 2nd. They sold June 16th for twelve ninety nine. Okay, next. That's a, a vase, a little pewter pewter vase. It was signed and stuff, so, I mean, it had a maker's mark and everything on it. So I gave it a shot. I didn't pay anything for it, so that's nice. Listed it March 21st. It sold June 14th for, ugh, $3. I must have sent an offer out on that. Three bucks plus shipping. Three bucks plus shipping, you know, so, well, it's out of here. Next. And it's Captain America. Hot dog. Play School Captain America. 28 cents I paid for him. Listed it April 30th. Sold June 14th for $4.99 plus shipping. Next. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. A vintage. This is a travel Yahtzee. I paid $1.50 for it. Uh, I'm not sure where. I listed it May. I listed it June 10th. It sold June 14th for 10.99 plus shipping. That's cool. Alrighty, next and last is this pair of Dansk metal and wood salad servers. Uh, 50 cents I paid for these. I listed them May 16th. They sold June 14th for eight dollars plus shipping. And that was everything I sold this week. I had no cancellations, no non-paying buyers, and no refunds, no returns. For everything that I sold, I paid $35.73. And my gross sales for the week, $408.83. And I'm perfectly happy with that. That's fantastic. Uh, more would be better, but less would be worse. So I'll take 408 and be happy and not worry. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Hey, you have a great day. Thanks for watching and keep listening. And uh, I hope you sell everything. Have a great day. Bye-bye.